Hello friends, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Monday today. I feel like it's been a while since I've actually started my weekly vlog on a Monday. And I also didn't upload last week, so I'm so excited to be picking up my camera again. Also, can we take a second for my jumper? I got the new Sabo skirt crew neck and I am obsessed with it. The pink, the green, the blue. I already just know that I'm going to be in this non-stop all winter. This was my outfit today, going for the comfort vibes. These jeans are from Primark when I was in London last year and I... I'm so upset that I didn't get more colors because they're the best. I miss Primark so much. <laughs> and then I honestly forgot that I owned pink Converse. So I had my pink Converse on to match my jumper. I had some family visiting the Gold Coast this morning. So I've been hanging out with them. And I didn't really think that I would have the afternoon free, but I do. So I'm kind of trying to decide what I want to do. I have things to do, but all I want to do is sit and read. But the tasks I need to do kind of need to be done right now. So I'm going to put my headphones on, try and smash it out. I'm thinking I might squeeze in a gym session this afternoon. Or I really don't know. <laughs> like, should I just start my week of workouts tomorrow? Remember never miss a Monday? That was such a weird time in my life. I may miss a Monday today. I might not. We'll have to see how I go. I feel like once I get a few things going and moving and I get in a groove, I'll kind of want to get everything done. I just did a big poo pickup in my backyard and then I used my leaf blower to clean up my backyard and my front little area. So I already just feel like I'm in the mood to keep being productive. I have some washing to do. I want to vacuum upstairs. I have a reel and TikTok to edit and then we'll see how I feel at like 4.30ish. See if I want to go to the gym. acceptable to rock up to the gym blaring Taylor Swift? It's a yes from me. I am shocked that I've made it to the gym. I'm I'm flabbergasted and I'm proud. <laughs> God, lucky no one's in the car park. Why did I think that was a good idea? Like, of course, resting your foot on the horn is gonna press the horn. What? <sighs> it's definitely a car pulling up. Look at my camera. I finished all my cleaning at around four, and I sat down on my bed. <sighs> I was scrolling on my phone and I was like, if I go to the gym, I need to leave in the next 15 minutes. Is it going to happen? And then I had five minutes until I needed to be out the door and I just decided that I should go and I should get it done. So here I am. I feel like while I was doing all my cleaning, I started getting really anxious. So I kind of have the, like the anxious sick belly feeling, <sighs> which is not ideal, but equally I hope that this session will make me feel better. I don't know. I just haven't done any movement today. So I chose the gym over a sunset swim because I realized... I couldn't have both. I'm so sad. <laughs> I love winter and I feel like this summer has just been so long that I'm just so ready. Oh my god, someone's coming. Someone parked right next to me, so I'm gonna continue this conversation later. But I'm gonna go do my session. Wish me luck. before someone pulled up next to me at the gym was that the sun set so early now <laughs> 
and I love winter. I feel like I love winter and summer equally. I feel like by the end of summer, I'm ready for winter and then by the end of winter, I'm ready for summer. But the sun sets so early now that if I want to do gym and then a sunset swim, I have to gym at 3.30 instead of 4.30 because by the time I get out of my 4.30 class, the sun is set and it's like not safe to swim, <laughs> which is so upsetting. But that also just means I need to go to the gym earlier and plan my time a bit better. Today was just a bit of a rush getting everything done and I was really deciding whether to go to the gym up until the minute that I left. I was in the car being like, should I? <laughs> but we got it done. Very proud. It was a good session. I enjoyed it. I feel like I always get really nervous going to never quit on upper body days because there's always a pull up or a chin up variation in the workout. And because I'm a heavier girl, I need so many bands to be able to do very few pull ups. And normally if the class is full, there's not enough bands for me to hog a lot of them. And I would say that I'm a fairly confident person in the gym, but like the fact that I can't do one of the exercises that the whole class is doing does, does something to my soul and it's just so embarrassing. And so I just like dread going upper body days, but there was only three people in the class today. So there was enough bands, which made me feel a lot better. <laughs> and the rest of the session was really good. We did like a functional high intensity circuit at the end, which I really enjoyed, but I do feel like my lungs are still <laughs> coming back down. You know, when you have just have so much cool air going into them and they take a while, to warm up, you know, but I'm actually really hungry. <laughs> What time is it? 10 past 6. I think I'm gonna give Winston and I dinner now and then once our food is settled we'll go for a nighttime walk and then we'll have our nighttime routine. I think I'd rather eat now, walk later, than walk now and eat later. Right? This is the most stupid dilemma we've ever heard. I'm gonna cook. Hi King. I just finished making dinner. This is Asian style salad mix with rice chicken tenders cut up, the sauce that comes with the salad and then just coupy mayo on the top. It's honestly the quickest and easiest meal. I've been eating it so much recently. I'm watching Soph's new book video. Winston has a brand new hoof down there. Hi. We're all just really enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Maybe the first like third to half. I was like, yeah, it's good. Buddy, that's good job. rather go visit someone 100% than have someone come in my house and then leave and then it's just silent no that's why I always have a show on <laughs> so true because then I never feel alone. put one on before I go yeah wouldn't it be so nice to like have a drive together like I want nothing more whatever you tend to your heart desires there's a lot of options there I might just try some I've had the most like chaotic social filled 48 hours. Yeah. 55. Just over halfway. That's really exciting. I was reading on the beach and then something so dramatic happened and I just haven't been able to read since then. I just keep thinking about it. I don't know what happens. <laughs> I, really, I hate it. I really like this part in the book because it ties into something that happened in the first book. I love those moments. Same. I'm still here by the way. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you vlog today? Nothing. I'll go to Rachel and be like, where are you up to? And I'm like, um, I don't know how to say any of the words that I'm reading. So you know, I don't even know how to tell you what's happening. You know that person who does yeah. that thing? 
did this thing. <laughs> what was like the evil girl in the first book? Amarantha. I called her Amanda because because <laughs> that's such a long name and I've never heard it before. I really just skim over every word I don't understand because I am trying to focus less on trying to understand everything. Yeah. Rachel said I'm doing a good job of understanding everything. You are. Rachel and Soph came for a sleepover last night and then Beck came over today and we had a beach day. Beck and Peyton. Mm. And it's just like, wow. And then I just stayed. And now Rachel won't leave. Yeah. I was like, I don't think I'm going home. I think I'm going to stay here. And you're like, okay. I said... Please. So, we're just being cute and wholesome, reading in bed. I'll be interested to see how I feel when I finish this, if I want to read the next one straight away or if I want to break. That's I think what you'll want to read thinking. it, but I don't know if you'll like actually want to break. It. Yeah. Like, you want to because of the ending, but you won't be like, you might be like, I just need something else. Yeah. No! Like, look how dramatic that is. Liar. And the door slammed <laughs> shut. I love it. I love it so much. I have six hours and 29 minutes left of the book. Guys, George is in love with more. I am in love with more. Oh, shit. Yeah, I text Rachel often when I'm reading asking what characters look like because, like, the fan art and it's, like, easier to picture it. I love her. She's so beautiful. I um, got fan art and added little nameplates. So that George, when she's reading, she knows who is who. So helpful. <laughs> I'm stressed. I'm so excited. I love my Kindle. I really like your pop socket. <laughs> like an alien. Can you do that? I can't. Can you not? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> I wonder why. Okay, I have to read to figure out what's going on. Titty white. I've been talking to you all day, but it is 7.30. I just finished dinner. I also found a McFlurry that I put in my freezer, I think weeks ago, and I never ate, so I'm letting it soften before I eat it. But I got some gibbets in the mail. <laughs> this lighting is so hectic. A few vlogs ago, I ordered gibbets for my Crocs, and they finally arrived. <laughs> Stop, it's so cute. Really sticky taped in here. Stop it right this second. I got two little rainbows. They're sparkly and so cute. It's a bit rogue, but I also got a little cow just because it's so cute. Like I don't even like cows that much, but it was just too cute to not get. And then I also got this little pink daisy, which is so cute. Let me get my Crocs. They're a bit dirty, so I don't want to put them on the bench. Do you just push them through? Oh, they're sandy from the beach. Oh well, mum, don't watch me put my shoes on the couch. Oh, they're kind of hard to get in. Now I want to get so many more. So cute. I'll leave a little Etsy store here if you want to get any. If I were a fish, da, 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 say, look at that fish. I just tidied up the kitchen from dinner. Also, I went to Aldi today and I got this chocolate. And it really reminds me of the Whitaker's coconut block. Like, it's so good. I definitely ate half of it. So that's really good. I didn't vlog much today because Rachel and I went for a walk. And then went to a coffee shop and edited and worked for a few hours. And then she headed home and I have not... Not left my couch because I've been reading my book all afternoon. I'm currently reading A Court of Mist and Fury. Maybe I should move because this lighting's so bad. Also, the shoes I'm wearing right now, these are the fake Uggs from Kmart. I'm obsessed with them. Winston hates them. He's just sitting down there sniffing my feet right now. Rachel and I talked about it a little bit last night, but I don't know how much of it is going to make sense. But this is the second Akatar book, Akamath. This is my first fantasy read. So I feel like I have lots of feelings and emotions, but none of them make sense. I keep saying, like, you know when you're reading a book and you're just like, wow, I'm obsessed. Everyone needs to read this. I don't feel like that with these books, but I equally can't put them down and I don't really stop thinking about them. So do with that what you will. <laughs> it's really nice because Rachel's read this whole series before obviously what hasn't she read but she's been rereading it recently because Soph is reading it for the first time so I get to talk to Rach and Soph about everything I'm reading if I don't understand anything Rachel has all the answers which is so great obviously you can google things but also it's like making more sense than I was expecting hi baby why are you staring at me I am oh my gosh 79% through oh my I'm on page 503 and I have three hours and two minutes left of the book based on my Kindle reading time. Um, well, I'm enjoying this second book a lot more than the first one. I'm enjoying the found family. I love so many of the characters, which I feel like normally you don't love all of the characters. You kind of just love one or two or just like the main characters or like the best friend or whatever. But like I almost love everyone. Obviously I'm my favorites, but I'm really loving it. And I haven't read the blurb on the back of any of them. So I actually just have like no idea what's going to happen in the rest of this book and I'm intrigued I'm excited ah!
I hate that I like can't say much without giving it away. Like anything I say would be giving it away. Even when I talk to Soph and Rach, they hardly ever reply with like actual words because anything they say would give it away. But this is hands down the biggest book I've ever read. And I will say reading big books on a Kindle is elite because it doesn't feel like you're reading a really big, thick, heavy book. I don't even know what the time is. I feel like it's eight and I need to go to sleep soon, I think. <laughs> Why am I so tired? I think it's just because I've had a very social few days, which I've absolutely loved, but it wears you out, you know? It is chilly tonight. Oh my gosh, it's 8.03. I was right on the money. I have some packing peanuts disintegrating in the sink. I'm going to make myself a moon milk, take myself to bed and read until I can't keep my eyes open. Good morning, sir. Are you warm in there? Hi. You're so cute. It's just past 6 a.m. and I'm getting ready for the gym. I did hate this curls last night purely because I washed my hair last night and I feel like when I wash and blow dry it and then go to bed, I wake up and it looks so bad. So I know I'm about to go to the gym and these curls are not going to hold, but at least my hair won't be like knotty and messy, you know? And this method is way quicker and easier definitely doesn't hold on my hair but it took me like no time to do last night i got my period yesterday which is awful news <laughs> oh that sunscreen is cold i'm tired i always struggle to fall asleep when i have an early alarm set the next morning and it's infuriating but i have a fun girls morning this morning lang and i are doing hustle which do i now regret agreeing to absolutely but what can you do and then we meet up with Soph for breakfast and I think maybe a little walk and then we're all getting our nails done my nails are so overgrown and so long I feel like because they're clear and French tip you can't even tell that they've grown out from a distance up close you can really tell but it's just the fact of how long they are I actually just can't do day-to-day -day tasks with slightly long nails it drives me crazy so I'm very excited to get them done today I'm thinking maybe like a bold color and cut really short also I have 10% left of Akamath and I'm stressed because everything was all happy and dandy and now something's happened and now I just feel like that's the start of bad things happening for the rest of the 10% and I'm stressed. I also just haven't been getting tired when I read before bed so maybe that's why it took me so long to fall asleep because I read such an intense scene and then I was like okay good night and then couldn't sleep. <laughs> And apparently I didn't finish vlogging for the rest of the week. So sorry. These are my fresh nails. Do we enjoy a bit of a green moment? But thank you for watching this vlog. Sorry for the abrupt ending. And I will see you in a new one very, very soon. Bye.